What's up, folks? It's RG with RGV TV, your favorite lobster trucker. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any gun reviews, but I'm kind of excited about this, and I wanted to show you uh, some, well, one more thing that I got. I got I got some other stuff, too, but we'll do some other videos on that. So let me show you a couple things that I had already. Okay, as you can see, this is the Bursa TPR9. It's the full size model. Put a little sleeve on there to get some better grip on there. Um, this is cleared. And then we've got uh, my wife's gun, the uh, Bursa Thunder 380 Plus. This has the 15 rounds in it. Nice rubberized grip. Really love this grip. Wish that they had done that on the um, on the TPR nines. Had a really, I mean, it's a pretty aggressive grip. Feels nice. And then we have the little baby TPR nine. So this is the, uh, and this is cleared as well. So this is the TPR9C. If you don't know what TPR9 stands for, it's the Thunder Pro Redesign in 9mm. C means concealed or compact. Probably just compact. Um, when they say redesign, it just means that it's redesigned from the original models. That's all. Um, what I love about these uh, TPRs um, doesn't matter what, if it's the 40 or 45 of the nine mils, um, almost all of their designs are ambidextrous, which is really nice. The slide lock release, uh, and your safety decocker. The only thing that is not ambidextrous is your, uh, takedown lever here. Um, and obviously your frame lock. Um, but the compact still um, is fairly similar to the full size in the fact that it has uh, front and rear serrations, which is nice. Um, you get this little sort of memory pad here for your finger. Uh, fairly decent sort of combat style trigger guard, which is great. Um, the trigger is still really, really smooth on this. Um, I would say that the reset probably isn't as short as with the full size, but it's still pretty short. Um, now, I did get this brand new. I'm a little disappointed because it's brand new, and you could see quite a few scuff marks here, but honestly, you could go somewhere and just get this coated up. I would get it coated, honestly, because I want this to last me a long time. Even though it is a budget gun, I still want it to last me. Um, the thing that's really nice about these... Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention is the uh, um, the mag release is not ambidextrous. But, you know, with the left hand, you could get it with your middle finger. Um, uh I think I had misspoke in my last video about the TPR9 and said that it was all steel. It's not. I misspoke about that. So with the full size and the compact, you have a steel slide aluminum frame. So it's an all metal gun. It's just steel aluminum. And then you get these kind of cheesy plastic grips. But honestly, like, you know, I put this sleeve on here. Obviously, that sleeve is a little too big to put on here, but um, you could get um, just, you know, uh, some talent grips or something for it. Just, you know, your sticky abrasive stuff to put on there. But, you know, it's, it's decent enough. You still have some um, rear and front serrations, so you can get a pretty good grip on it. And... Um, Now, obviously, I have I have pretty large hands, okay? So, um, without the mag in it, I can't, I don't have a grip. 
Okay, but, and I don't, because this, you know, this is full. I'll just put this in. But you can see there's that little lip that comes out, and that allows for um, a pretty nice purchase. So I'll pop that in. And as you can see, I get a really nice grip on that. Okay. Um, the other thing that's nice is the full-size mags fits right in there. So you want to go to the range, you don't mind looking kind of stupid, but you don't want to uh, keep messing around with the other mags and fill them up, and you get, um, what, four more rounds out of this. So this is a 17-rounder, this is a 13-rounder. So, I, I mean, capacity is pretty nice with this for a compact gun. You get 13 rounds. That's pretty good in one of the pipe. I mean, that's pretty decent. I've had full-size guns before that were only 15-round capacity. So, you know, only a, a round or two difference from a full-size from some of the older guns. And I bet with a, with a full-size mag in here, um, it probably shoots pretty nice because you get a lot of weight down here. Um... So I've yet to take this to the range to shoot it. I just picked it up today. Um, so I will do a review on that um, whenever we do take to the, this to the range. But the, one of the reasons why I wanted to do the video now is because if anybody out there is deciding whether or not they should get a TPR-9 concealed or the Thunder, um, the Thunder 380, I really want you to take a look at this, okay? This is the Thunder 380. Now let's put that down. There really isn't much difference in size at all. Um, I mean, this is, this has 15 rounds in it. So the weight, there's, there, there is a difference. This is lighter, um, but it's not much lighter. Now, if you really wanted to get something that was really small and concealed, then I would get the, you know, you could get the Thunder 380, um, conceal model, which is a single stack. You could if you want to do that, um, but honestly, if you're if you're if all you're thinking about is concealment and weight, you could also get the BP9 um, put out by Bursa, which is kind of like a single stack Glock, um, and it's fairly fairly small. But I mean, to be honest with you. You're looking at the difference between a nine millimeter and a three eighty, I would go with the nine millimeter every time, unless you're in an area that prohibits you from shooting a nine mil and three eighty is all you have. I would go with this, and for someone, for a man who's fairly large or you have large fingers, you got to think of the this. I can barely get my finger through here. Okay, barely, just barely. I'd have to squeeze it with like the tip of my finger. So this is more for someone with really, really small hands. But if you're a bigger guy with or or woman with just a bigger handed individual, how about I say that, be PC, a bigger handed individual, you're not going to want to go with this because you really don't have much room in here. So if you happen to have uh, bigger finger, fingers, thicker fingers, you're not want to, not going to want to go with this. Also, with all of the different types of ammunition that you can have with the nine millimeter, it's just more readily available. They have all different types. Um, I would go with this all day long. And considering the size comparison here, this is not much bigger. Um, is it slimmer? This one is definitely slimmer. This one, 
okay? But not by much. I like the fact that this is kind of tapered up just a bit. Um, it gives it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing look. Better than a Glock, I think. I think this is a better looking gun than a Glock. Glocks are just so boxy and, you know, squared off. And where this kind of tapers up, it, it's a really appealing look. I also like all of the safeties on here. You have a frame lock safety. When would you want to need a frame lock safety? Well, if you're flying, for one, and you're going to take it with you to a state that allows you to have your gun, um, it's going to make security feel a lot better if you lock that frame up and you take that key with you. Nobody can use that gun. So if it happens to get lost, well, nobody can get into it. So if somebody were to steal it or whatever, they can't get into it. So that's one reason to have it. Also, you know, I have young child. Um, if I were to go away for a long time and I was, I couldn't take the gun with me for some reason, <clears throat> do I still have the guns locked up? Sure. But if my son got curious and tried to find, find a way to get in there somehow, he still wouldn't be able to do it because I'd have the key with me. He wouldn't be able to do shit with this gun. So there, there is, you know, some usefulness behind having the frame lock. Um, you know, I, I'd rather, you know, have it and not need it. You know what I mean? I probably will never use it, but it's just nice to have. Um, and then again, you know, you have this, um, double action pull on here, which is, it's, you know, it's fairly heavy, but that's another added safety feature to have that heavy first pull. Um, you know, if you're in a situation where you have enough time to just pull that back real quick and fire, then then do that if you want. Um, again, you know, another safety feature, you know, you, you have the decocker and also you have the safety. So, um, you know, that's pretty nice too. Um, the thing that I do like about this is, and this is another difference from the the 380 model is this does not have a magazine disconnect okay so if something were to happen and you were on the ground and your magazine was out and there happened to be a bullet that fell on the ground or something you could throw a bullet right in that that pipe and you could still fire it even though there's no mag in it so you know that's different from this where there's no magazine in there the trigger is completely dead i'll take this off a of safe it's dead it's still dead nothing's happening it's a magazine disconnect with that trigger so some people like that some people don't i personally don't so do i think the versa 380 is a good pistol sure but it's not for everybody and honestly, for me personally, this is a good gun for my wife because she's recoil sensitive. She has very, very tiny fingers, skinny fingers. This is a good gun for her. This is what she's comfortable with. It's what she likes. It has all the safeties, has a magazine disconnect, has all that stuff that she likes. It's on this gun. That's what she likes. For me personally, would I carry this? Sure, if I had nothing else to carry, I would carry it. Okay, it's better than nothing. But between this and this, where they're practically the same size, I'm going to pick this every time. I have more room for my finger. I have less capacity than this, okay? But I have a more damaging round. Um, you know, in, in the fact that uh, you could still shoot... You know, if you had around the chamber and you lost your mag, you could still shoot it. Um, I think this is a pretty good-looking gun. I decided to go with all black versus the the uh, the Dutone model. I like the Dutone model, but um, for a concealed carry, I don't really want anything flashy. 
um, cause this, this is definitely going to be my summer gun. Um, so I just, you know, where I'm going to be wearing lighter clothing and stuff like that, uh, less clothing to cover this up. I want it to just blend in with my darker clothing that I usually wear anyway. Um, I usually wear a lot of like black shirts and stuff like that. So, uh, this would just kind of blend in with that. That's why I didn't go with the two-tone. I, I think the black looks nice. I will get this coated uh, just because I want to have this for a long time. I don't care that it's a budget gun. This is going to be the one that I'm carrying a lot because it is concealed carry and it's lighter. I barely even know it's there. Um, so... I want this to last a while. I don't want it to rust up on me, which I've heard, you know, that these can rust up on you. But, you know, for the for the money that you're spending on it, you can't really go wrong. It still fires all the components that, that, um, that run this gun work just fine from everything that I've heard. Um, you know, so just get it coated. Do what you have to to keep everything maintained and uh you're good to go uh the, the way to take this down same thing just pull this down slide comes right off and then when you put the slide back on you just kind of match the notch up to there push the lever back up you're good to go uh, so the main difference between the the compact and the full size as you know you know there's no frame lock on the full size there's frame lock also um, you get a uh, two slot big tinny rail. This is just a single slot. Um, I do have a, let's see here. I do have a mini light that fits perfect on here. Uh, I forget the name of this. It's like the fire, fire light something. Uh, Tacticon, I think it's like the fire, firelight or firefly or whatever the hell it is. Um, it was pretty cheap. It's not much as far as lumens go, but it does have a green laser. Um, the only thing I don't really like about this light is the buttons are extremely sensitive. Um, so, you know, in the holster, you can accidentally push it and... It, and then you're, you know, you got a green laser or light on, which could overheat and burn you. So, um, I don't know whether or not I would ever carry this on the gun. Um, but if I was like in the house or something like that, and this was my bedside gun, then I'd keep it on. But, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this to carry just because those buttons are way too sensitive. Uh, plus size, it does have a magnet charger, so that's nice. Um, but all in all, this is uh, pretty nice. I like it. I can't wait to go shoot it. And, uh, yeah, that's that. So, let me kind of line these up so you can get a good look at these all together. You kind of see the size difference between them all. So that's my Bursa collection. I really do like Bursas. Um, I would like to get a BP-9 at some point. I don't know if I'd ever carry it. I heard this, the trigger is pretty sensitive. But uh, uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to carrying this and this being my new EDC. So... All right, folks, thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, do whatever the hell you want. Don't care. I don't get monetized for these videos at all, and I don't need to. I just do this for fun. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or whatever, uh, you can leave them in the comments. Um, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. Take care. Carry a gun. Bye by your state and federal laws, even though they suck. Just do it. Don't get your butt in trouble. But uh, stay safe, all right? It's RG with RGV TV, favorite lobster trucker, over and out.